Shang Wong, Carl Hungai Ngai Hao Bash Miao Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash, Devil Nuns, Ten Yells, and the Apostles of Great Millstone were well. Shang Wong to the 144,000, the one third remnant men, women, children of the whole for next Shang Wong. This is the brother Kabar Yash coming back at you with another quick lesson. Through the spirit of power, you have about Shmi Al Shah, praise and let's be and find straight to the point. Okay, and we're going to read this article. This is from the People's Voice TV, and it says Liberals melt down after Snoop Dogg confirms he'll endorse Donald Trump for president. Now, this is not what I'm here to talk about, you know, you stupid ass liberals having a meltdown. What I'm here to talk about is about you Jakes, all right? <laughs> Taking Esau Edom, all right? The so-called white man still looking for Esau Edom and save your ass, okay? Let's get a scripture, man. Because a lot of you Jays, man, y'all through. Still looking for Esau Edom to save you, man, okay? Esau is not going to save you, Jays, man. Okay, let's get this scripture. Lamentations chapter 4 and verse 17. As for us, our eyes have yet failed for our vain help. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. And you Jakes are still depending up on fucking Esau Edom to save your asses, man. Okay? These devils don't care about you, man. Okay? These devils don't give a fuck about you, man. And hey, like we told y'all, man, three years ago, y'all was going to be crying for Trump to come back in that White House, man. <laughs> and now y'all are. And you think Trump is going, you know... Do what he did before, man, no. Man, Trump can't save America, okay? All right? Verse 18. They haunt our steps that we cannot go in our streets. Our end is near. Our days are fulfilled, for our end is come. Verse 19. Our persecutors are swifter than the eagles of the heavens. But snuggy, they pursued us upon the mountains. They lay wait for us in the wilderness, man. And these devils, they continue to do that, man. All right? You're still getting discriminated against, man. You're just like, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans in captivity, man. Okay? But you Jakes are still looking for Esau even to save your ass. All right? Esau can't save you. These devils don't care about you, man. And the Bible says, never trust thy enemy. Let's get that scripture. Sirach 12 and 10. Okay. Sirach or Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 10. It reads, Never trust thy enemy, for like his iron rusted, so is his weakness. Never trust these devils, man. Okay. And like it says in Psalms chapter 55 and verse 21, The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. These devils don't care about you, man. Okay. They don't care about your struggles. They don't care about what you're going through, man. Okay. Hey. You saw, man, you see Biden don't give a fuck about you. What makes you think Trump give a fuck about you, Jakes, man? Okay? It's the same old story. Song and dance every four or eight years, man. All right? Here they come looking for your damn votes, man. Pandering to you, man. Telling you that you, you know, if you vote for me and do this, and nah, all, hey, I'll do this for you. I'll do that for you. It's the same old story. Song and dance, man. For you Jakes, man, just to get your damn votes. And you shouldn't be voting any fucking way. Okay? Let's read this again. Sirach or Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 10. Never trust thy enemy. For like his iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. These devils are your enemies, man. Verse 11. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as his thou hast wiped the looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away, man. Okay? Like it says in uh, Isaiah chapter 26 and verse 10, let favor be shown to the wicked, yet he will not learn righteousness, man. You don't care to learn righteousness. They don't care about you, man. And you seeing that this government don't give a fuck about y'all ass, man. You Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latino, Native Americans, man. Okay, with the fluctuation of these immigrants coming in here, all right, they getting free shit and everything, man. And you Jays been here for years, and really, they throwing everybody like that now, all right. Esau Edom, his people starting to be affected by it, and they getting pissed off, man. So hey, <laughs> look, man, like it says, what's that scripture go? Let's get it. Uh, 
Surah 14, 5, right here. He that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good? Okay? He shall not take pleasure in his goods, man. So these devils ain't good to themselves, man. Okay? Okay? So, hey, that wickedness ain't going away, man. Okay? Verse 12. Set him not by thee, least when he hath overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place, neither shall not, neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat, and thou at the last remember my words and be pricked therewith. Verse thirteen Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent, or any such as come as what come nigh wild beasts, okay? Who gonna pity you, Jakes? No one, man. Okay? These devils don't pity you, Jason. Let me get a quick scripture. Let's go to, uh, I think it's Jeremiah 15 and verse 5, I believe. Right here. Come on. <clears throat> Jeremiah chapter 15 and verse 5. Okay? Uh, sure. uh, Sean Wong, brother. <laughs> the water for sharing my video. Hold on. Let me do this right quick. All right. Let's knock you. Jeremiah chapter 15 and verse 5. For whom? So like, for who shall have pity upon thee, O Jerusalem? That's you Israelites. Or who shall bemoan thee? Or who shall go aside to ask how thou doest? You people, look. Esau, Edom, don't give a fuck about you, Jakes, man. Let's get another scripture. Let's go to uh, Jeremiah 2 and 33, I believe. Yep, right here. Okay, Jeremiah chapter 2 and verse 33. While trimmest thou thy way to seek love, therefore... Hast thou also taught the wicked ones thy ways, man? You Jesus trying to trim your way to seek love. Thinking Esau Edom is going to save you. Esau Edom can't even save his fucking self from his own destruction, his own demise, man. Okay? This devil can't even save himself. What makes you think he's going to save you? <laughs> but yeah, you Jesus want to go out and endorse, and they're using the celebrities to do this shit, man. Now... Nah, you know, we already know why they doing that, man. Okay, they, hey, he's, look, he's not even going to use Jake, all right? And, hey, he going to, and, uh, look, <clears throat> I don't really think there's going to be no election, no way, man. I'm going to be really honest with you because before I read this article, let me go to another article. Hold on. Okay, uh, where is that article? Right here. Okay. This is what the WEF -E is calling for, all right? This is another article from the People's Voice uh, TV, and it says, WEF calls for democratic elections to be banned. The elite can decide who runs the world. So, yeah. And like we always say, your presidents are not selected. Sluggy, your presidents are not elected. They're selected, okay? These people that... You know, you think you're going out and thinking your vote matters and your vote counts? No, it don't, man. Your vote doesn't fucking matter. Not here in Babylon, the great America, man. Okay? Presidents are not elected. They're selected. These elites decide who runs the world and who runs, you know, a country. Whatever. Okay? And they're talking about banning elections. Let's read a little bit of this and I'm going to go back to the other article. It says, World Economic Forum... Founder Clown Swa has declared that it's time to ban elections worldwide, including here in Babylon, and allow the elites to decide who run, to run the world. Man, come on, man. Yeah, and you people trying, you ain't think Trump gonna man? Please, no. These devils talking about banning elections, so it might not be no election this year, or ever. And we hope not. We don't give a fuck. I don't care, man. Anyway. I ain't gonna read no more. I'll put that in the description box. You can read it for yourself, man. <laughs> Jake's a stupid man. As a matter of fact, before I do that, Slocky, I'm I know. <laughs> hey, these scriptures. <laughs> hey, when the spirit running through me, man. <laughs> hey, you gonna let the spirit do the talking, man. Let's let hey, let's let the scriptures do the talking. You Jason's stupid, man. Jeremiah 4 verse 22, for my people is foolish, they have not known me, they are sottish children, sottish means stupid, and they have none understanding, they are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge, our people don't have no good to do knowledge, man, okay, going out and voting, thinking your vote matters, man, please get the fuck out of here.
Now let's go back to the article. Let's read a little bit. I'm not going to read the whole thing, man. All right. <sighs> anyway. Liberals entered panic mode this week after rapper Snoop Dogg hint that he will endorse Donald Trump for U.S. president this year. So fucking what? Who cares? Snoop told reporters he has a newfound respect and admiration for Trump, marking a significant U-turn from his previous stance. <laughs> now, hey, and we told you, man, and we told you, Jakes, back in 2020, all right, you voting for Biden, all right, when Biden get in that White House and start doing all the shit that he did, y'all gonna be crying for Donald Trump, and lo and behold, man, three years later, here we are, man, <laughs> yeah, we told you. Uh, let's see. It says, during an exclusive interview with the Times, published on Sunday, Snoop Dogg, who has had a history of contention with Trump, particularly during Trump's first term in office, surprisingly revealed his change of heart. Yeah, we told you, Jace, y'all gonna be crying for Trump. <laughs> hey, y'all are. <laughs> Donald Trump, he ain't doing nothing wrong to me he ain't done nothing wrong to me he has done only great things for me the rapper said in a shocking revelation yeah whatever man please anyway it says the change of heart stings in part from trump's decision to pardon michael eight hair it's like michael harold harry o harris a co-founder of death row records which was Snoop's first label, according to the Times. So I have nothing but love and respect for Donald Trump. <laughs> oh, man, you can't make this shit up. <laughs> Chase is stupid, man. Oh, man, you can't make this shit up. Snoop Dogg added, referencing this act of uh, clemency, whatever the word is. In 2021, Snoop Dogg praised this decision, saying, I love what they did. That great, that's great work for the president and his team on the way out. Previously, Snoop Dogg was known for his outright criticisms of Trump's policies and actions. In 2017, he was involved in a significant controversy following the release of his music video, for Lavender featuring Bad, Bad, Not Good. The video was Snow was like the video was showcased Snoop Dogg aim a toy gun at a clown smoking a joint and resembling Trump resembling Trump pulled the trigger to reveal a bang flag, drew widespread attention and criticism, including a Sharp rebuke from Trump's legal team and Trump himself, who suggested that Snoop Dogg should be arrested for the act. Yeah, this dude called for your arrest, man. All right, just because over a music video, now you all of a sudden you have a change of heart. Man, get the fuck out of here. And I remember that video too back in 2017. And that was about, about seven years ago, I believe. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Yeah, seven years ago. Moreover, Snoop Dogg's political com commentary continues later that year with the release of his track, Make America Crip Again. A play on Trump's famous campaign slogan, Make America Great Again. BT, there's more. Snoop Dogg also did not rule out a public endorsement of President Donald Trump. Now all of a sudden you want to vote for Donald Trump, man. All right, I'm not going to read the rest of this, man. You can see the uh the tweet, okay? It says Snoop Dogg says he may have to endorse Donald Trump. Don't don't estimate the problem dynamic shift. Occurring this 
it's like it's slowly becoming edgy in the pop culture world to support DJT, DJ Trump. There you go, man. I'm not going to read the rest of this shit, man. But hey, you Jakes, still trusting in Esau, still trusting in Babylon. Let's get a scripture. I ain't intending to make this long, man. But that's going to show you how destroyed Jake is, man. Anyway. <clears throat> Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 1. Woe to the rebellious children, said the Lord, how about you, y'all shy? That's you Israelites. They take counsel, but not of me. And that cover with the covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. Verse 2. That walk to go down into Egypt. Okay. And that's talking about America, okay? Because America is spiritually Egypt. And have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh. Modern day Pharaoh is Esau, even so called white man. And to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Verse 3 Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame, and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. Okay? A lot of you Jake's about to be not confused out here. When shit hits the fan, okay? When they, they tell you. There ain't going to be no election this year, which I believe through the Spirit, all right? There ain't going to be no election. Lord willing, we hope it ain't, man. Okay? Really do. All right? And when they tell you that, man, then, hey, it's all. It's on, man. Okay? Then what you Jays going to do? What you Israelites going to do then? When they tell you there ain't going to be no election, Biden might stay in the White House or whatever, or whoever they may put in the White House. Okay? Because like I like I read in that uh excuse me in this previous article, this is what your elites doing. The global elites. They talking about banning the lessons. And the elites want to decide who runs the world, who runs a country, or whatever. So what you just gonna do, man? <laughs> what y'all gonna do then? Hmm? Let's read it down here. It says, we can create a system where we don't even need democratic democratic elections because we can predict how you are going to be thinking and feeling, Clown, Swift. Clown Swab said, man. It says, never mind that democratic elections are a thing of the far past. In the last 20 or so years, there was hardly any elections around the world that was not somehow manipulative by the monster, like by the master of the universe. Even in the homeland of masters and self-styled emperors. So hey, these devils telling you, man, there might not be no election. They telling you. Come on, man. And interest, interestingly. Swab always prefer to we, as in we control you, your thoughts, your feelings, we put you in a predictive mode. In other words, yeah, and they do, man. Okay, so they basically telling you to your face, man, there might not be no election. Okay, <laughs> but you Jays got high hopes. <laughs> you got them high hopes and thinking. Oh, Donald Trump is save America. This place can't be saved, man. Okay? That's not what I want. Right here. This is what I want. <clears throat> Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 8. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take bond for a pain, and so she may be healed. Okay? We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country, for her judgment reaching unto heaven and is lifted up even to the sky. So this this place can't be healed, man. This place is on its way out. And you just trusting in Babylon and trusting in this place, man. This is not your rest. Okay? Let's go here. Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. Okay? So these devils can't save you, man. You just putting your trust in Esau Edom, the so-called white man. Okay? Let's go back to uh actually let's go back to Isaiah chapter 30 and verse Yeah, let's read verse 12. 
Wherefore thus said the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise this word, this truth, and trust in oppression and perverseness to stay thereon. Verse 13. Therefore this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall whose breaking comes suddenly in an instant. So you trust in this place, it's going to be your downfall, man. Okay? Let's go to Isaiah 31 and let's read verse 1 through 3 and I'm going to close it out here. Isaiah chapter 31 and verse 1. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. Woe means destruction. And stay on horses and trust in chariots because there are many. And in horsemen because they are very strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel. Neither seek the Lord in Habash and Yashai. And hey, two thirds of our people, they ain't trying to seek the Lord. Okay? They trust in the Esau Edom. And this wicked ass system to save them, man. Okay? And like I said, these Edomites, they do that shit every fucking four years or eight years just to get you dumbass Jake's votes. And when they get in the White House, what they do? They forget about you, man. They forget about you dumbass Jake's, man. When well, you Jake's gonna get it through your fucking head, man? Okay? And you're not even supposed to put nobody like that, you know, in authority or, you know, a position over you. You're supposed to put a person of your own clan over you and as a matter of fact let's get this scripture we'll come back to this let's prove that i think it's deuteronomy 17 and verse 15 yep right here deuteronomy chapter 17 and verse 15 thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee whom the lord how about she shall that power shall choose one from who is among it's not even, one from among thy brethren Shall thou set king over thee? Your people, man. And Israelites. Well, we know that ain't gonna happen in this society. Not when long as Esau Edom is ruling. We know that ain't shit ain't gonna happen. Okay? They fooled and tricked your ass with thinking Obama was your people. But he's not. This motherfucker's a hand might, man. Okay? And what did Obama do for your asses? Nothing. What in the fuck makes you think Trump or Biden or anyone else they put in there... Go do something for you, Jakes, man. When you gonna fucking wake up, man? My goodness gracious. Thou mayest not set a stranger over thee, which is not thy brother. You're not even supposed to set a heathen to rule over you, man. But we know that Esau Edom is in charge, and he's in power, man. Job 9.24 says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So, we understand that. But still, yeah, you're not even supposed to vote. Really, you're not supposed to vote, man. Let's go back. Isaiah 32, it's like Isaiah 31 and verse 2. Yet he also is wise and will bring evil and will not call back his words, but will but will arise against the house of evildoers and against the help of them that work iniquity, man. So evil is coming up on these devils, man, on these evil Edomites, man. Okay? Verse 3. Now the Egyptians are men and not God, and their horses flesh and not spirit. When the Lord Yahweh shall stretch out his hand, both he that helpeth shall fall, and he that is hoping shall fall down, and they shall all fail together, man. Yeah, and that's what's about to happen, man. You just saying for a rude awakening, man. Okay? Okay, like it says in uh, 2nd Israel chapter 16, verse somewhere around, I think it's 21, where it says evil. Then evil shall be multiplied. Let's get it. I don't want to butcher it. I'm butchering it. So let's go on and get it. Can't be lazy. <laughs> okay. Uh, hold on. Let me start up a little bit. Yeah, let's start up a little bit. Second Israel chapter 16 verse 18. The beginning of sorrows and great mourners. The beginning of famine and great death. The beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. What should I do when these evils shall come? Verse 19. Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scorching for amendment. I will sent to correct you Israelites, man. Verse 20. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Verse 21. Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth. That they shall think themselves to be in good case, and even then shall evils grow up upon the earth. Sword, famine, great confusion. And that's what's happening, man. Great confusion. Okay? 
So you shouldn't trust these damn devils, man. But our people, they trust Esau Edom. They trust his words, man. Okay? But hey, Esau Edom can't save you, Jakes, man. Just like he can't save himself. Okay? So with that, I'm going to end it here. Okay? Lord, when I praise and lesson was edifying and straight to the point. All praises and glorifications go see how about some young shy by Shim Rakak Wadash. It's on to the next one. Till next time, Sean Wong, Kwame Yashiran, and Wild Bob Ball Sean Wong.